If you use Pixel your site to install your Facebook Pixel or to configure conversion API events, this is a video you should definitely watch. I'm Christian Stoicescu from Pixel your site, and these are a few key things you should know, you must know, if you use our plugin to install the Facebook Pixel. So I will assume you already have Pixel your site installed on your website, and uh, this is Pixel your site, and you have. Um, the pixel ID and conversion API token right here. Uh, if you don't have them, we have um, another video on our YouTube channel explaining how to get the conversion ID and uh, where to add it and stuff like that. But if you already have this, the first thing you should know is that uh, you don't have, actually you should not add events code with other plugins or uh, by editing your um, theme or anything like that, no. Not even using our head and footer option here, no, no. The only way to add extra events is to use our dedicated events page. Go here and uh, add a new event using our uh, quite intuitive triggers. But before adding any new event, uh, visit your website and check if we already have uh, an event tracking the action you want to track, because chances are we do. For example, for WooCommerce, you don't need to add any events. We, we track all of them automatically. Anything is tracked. You don't have to add uh, new, new events. Uh, and even for um, other actions, we, we have our uh, signal event that probably already tracks um, most actions on your, on your website. So uh, check if you need a new event. And if you do, add it using our events page and no other uh, plugin. This is important because only events added here have the required uh, parameters for conversion API deduplication to work. Uh, so if you have uh, the, the same pixel installed by other means, you will have um, warnings about uh, missing deduplication parameters. Uh, okay, another thing I want to explain, uh, inside your events manager, you have this page settings with a few possible options. The one I want to talk about, advanced matching. Okay, advanced matching. Um, there are two types, automatic advanced matching and, uh, well, just advanced matching. I don't know, maybe simple advanced matching. Um, with automatic advanced matching, Facebook uh, script tries to get um, data about your users, like their name, let me show you name, email, gender, phone number, stuff like that, um, if they can. So if they can uh, take this data, they will get it and use it to match the user to uh, a Facebook account. Um, but the plugin also has an option for advanced matching and it works in a different way. For uh, logged in users, we get the data and we send it to uh, with the browser events. So this is not automatic advanced matching, it's done by the plugin. Uh, my suggestion is to use both, it will improve your um, matching rate. Another thing, event setup tool, don't use it. Uh, if you need an event, again, configure it from inside the plugin. If you have events right here, remove them. Uh, the problem is that we cannot send uh, the duplication uh, parameter, so these events will trigger some problems uh, and uh, we cannot send the conversion API events uh, for them, so th this will be a bit complicated. Uh, the same thing for track events automatically without code. Uh, make sure it's off. If you enable this option, Facebook will try to guess when an action takes place and will uh, fire uh, an event. Uh, this event will uh, double our default events. For example, for WooCommerce, you will have um, um, purchases counted twice. And this event will not have a lot of parameters, including the parameters required for um, conversion API deduplication. So they will again trigger deduplication uh, warnings. So make sure you have this off. Conversion API, uh, you don't need to get here, set up manually, no. You just need the token. So you just need to click on this link 
get the token and add it inside the plugin here. Uh, and you don't need to go and uh, choose a partner. Uh, we do everything for you, so ignore this, ignore this, just get your token. The last thing, traffic permission, you can create an allow list and only websites from that list will uh, count it, will count when they set pixel data, or you can cre create a disallow list and manually block each domain that you don't want to send data. Uh, it's easier to have an allow list and add your domain, uh, domain name. Uh, from time to time, you will see warnings about various other domains sending uh, pixel data or data. Um, usually, services like Google, Google Translate will uh, send um, pixel events. Uh, you should, you can just ignore them, or you can. Um, add them on the allow list, but there, there will be a problem because these events will not have the required event ID generated dynamically. So they will send the same event ID again and again, and uh, they will trigger some warnings about the duplication and um, wrong parameters. So uh, I would say to add just your domain and that's it on the allow list. These are the main things. I wanted to um, explain in this video. Uh, so, to sum up, add only events using our tool. Don't add events using um, code. Don't use other plugins to install the same pixel. Uh, make sure you don't have uh, event setup tool used. Remove any events you have from uh, you have here and make sure you have track events uh, automatically without code turned off. These are key, the key things. Um, there is a um, possibility to use a, another plugin, Facebook for WooCommerce. If you use Facebook for WooCommerce, uh, we can work with that plugin. So you can have a, a product catalog created by Facebook for WooCommerce and you can uh, use Pixel your site to send uh, pixel events. In this case, there will be an option on the WooCommerce page to use the Facebook for WooCommerce um, event ID logic. I don't have it because I don't have it here because I don't have Facebook for WooCommerce installed on this website. But if you do have, if you have Facebook for, for WooCommerce, you will see a dedicated option on the WooCommerce page uh, to use their logic. So this is the only exception when you can use another plugin with ours. Otherwise, uh, remove other, other plugins that install the Facebook Pixel. Don't use Google Tag Manager to send uh, Facebook Pixel events. Don't use uh, event code with uh, other plugins or with our head and footer because they will have uh, the duplication problems. This is it.